What's going on YouTube? It is Christian Yuzman and I want to do a, another kind of question video, just answer more questions for you guys. Um, my post got a lot of comments and I only answered like three or four questions yesterday and I got 168 comments so I feel like I'm obligated to answer a couple more for you guys. Um, really quick, what you're going to be seeing in the background are some clips from my last arm workout. It, uh, blah, blah, sorry. What they are, they're all supersets, right? So all the superset is is going from one exercise to another with no rest in between. You have single muscle supersets, meaning a bicep to a bicep or you know a chest to another chest, back to back, etc. And then you have what I like to call antagonist supersets. So you're working antagonist muscles and supersetting them. For example, you do pull-ups to work your back and then you go do a bench press, working your chest. Antagonist muscles are chest and back, uh, bicep, tricep. Uh, I guess you could technically say quad and ham. Uh, if you don't consider all like, you know, just leg and yeah, so that is that guys. So that's what you're seeing. So if you want, you can go ahead and write some of these exercises and supersets down and try them out for yourself, say in the eight to 12 rep range. And here we go. So we're on my Instagram, Christian is on fitness, go follow me and we're going to answer some more questions. Let me load all the comments. Okay. This is from Tyler Lloyd. What exercises, what exercise Sorry, he kind of misspelled that. I mean, what what exercise did you do over the years to get a well-developed chest? Um, to be completely honest, since I was 14, uh, 15 years old, bench press has been my primary movement. Just a flat barbell bench press. Um, uh, that's where I, where I did all my strength training. That's where I did pretty much all of my chest work up until the last few years. So I guess technically that's where I got most of my development from, if you want to say that. Um, so flat bench press. Next question. Uh, da, 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 da. How do you balance your life so well with work, gym, family, and friends and still have time for yourself? Um, because I'm doing what I like to do, right? If, you're, if you do what you love and if you're around positive people, you find time and it just works out so perfectly, guys. So find what you like to do. Get all the toxic and parasite people out of your life and you'll notice how much time you have to really do what you love and be with the people you love. Okay. Um, do you speak Spanish? Yes. How do you stay, stay motivated on a daily basis? Again, because I'm doing what I love and you guys motivate me to do everything. I think I answered that one yesterday. Um, nationality, I am Hispanic. Would you ever like to compete again? Possibly. I may be competing in November. However, the whole politics side of competing really turns me off from the whole idea of it. Um, and then, of course, there's the fake drug testing, which is BS, I might add. Um, you know, I don't want to. Here's a little analogy for you guys. I am not going to race someone, right? So I'm not going to sprint against someone if I'm on my knees and they're on, the feet, on their feet. If they have that much an advantage over me, I'd almost just rather not even bother and dedicate you know, 12, 16 weeks of dieting towards a goal and then having someone who takes steroids or any enhancing drugs to just pass me up just because of that. So um, that's that. Again, I might just for the experience, just to get in that kind of conditioning. So we'll see. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. What is your main job? I'm an online personal trainer. When is your birthday? I am born, well, I was born on February 20th, 1993. So my 21st birthday is coming up in a few months. Uh, is it bad to mix creatine with caffeine? No, you can take creatine whenever you want, um, five grams a day, every single day. Creatine timing is irrelevant because the effects are not acute, meaning you don't take creatine and then go get stronger or get more energized because you take it. Now, I like to take it in my pre-workout simply because I remember to mix the powders. Um, so take it whenever it's easiest for you. Uh, let's see, let's see. Have you ever considered stepping on stage as a bodybuilder? Why or why not? Uh, no, because as you guys know, I'm a part-time model and I already have trouble enough um, getting gigs and getting signed with agencies because my measurements are very odd, um, to say the least. I have a 44-inch chest, a 29-inch waist, and yeah, so usually I can't even fit into the clothes. So, um, and especially if I were to have like, my quads are about 24, 23 to 24 inches. So, or my thigh, I guess. So if I were to have much bigger, I wouldn't be able to fit into like the jeans. I already have a lot of trouble fit, fitting into skinny jeans and everything. So probably not gonna be a bodybuilder. And also I really like what I do. You know, I like the physique I'm aiming for and I have the physique I'm aiming for and it's not really, I don't know. Um, answer, maybe, I guess, maybe I'll do a bodybuilding show if I was already going to compete. Uh, also, I don't know how to pose, <laughs> so I'm not very good at posing. Um, let's see. When bulking mentally, when bulking, how do you deal with your, 
When, okay, he wrote, when bulking mentally, how do you deal with your cuts going away, dealing with putting that body fat on? Uh, don't let it get too high. That's simple as that. You know, watch your stuff, watch your food, watch your intake. And if you're gaining too quick, drop your macros and or drop your carbs, you know, and it's really about gaining slowly. So it's all self-control also, you know, just because you're bulking doesn't mean you're going to go add, you know, instead of Walden Farms zero calorie syrup, you're adding normal pancake syrup. Or just because you can have more carbs, you're not going to binge out on brownies, you know, or just because you're technically bulking, quote unquote, doesn't mean you can go and eat dessert. That's where you mess up. That's where everyone puts on the most weight. Can you dunk? Um, I haven't tried. I the most the highest I ever got was actually about a year ago, a little over a year ago. I dunked a girls' ball, right? A, a girls' basketball is a little bit smaller, and I dunked that. So again, I'm six foot tall. So you know, maybe since I've been squatting recently a lot, uh, trying to get heavier and heavier, my legs are getting stronger. I'll try again soon, but um, I don't know. I haven't done like vertical jump, I guess like work or anything like that recently. Uh, do you play sports in high school? No, I just worked out with all the athletes in a strength slash performance camp. And last question, have you ever tried Synthesix? Yes, it tastes good, but the macros are bad. So um, if that is that. My girlfriend actually just bought Synthesix. I convinced her because that's the only one she can drink because she likes the taste. So protein is protein, but it's very high fat and carb, but she doesn't eat anyway, so she needs more food in her diet So and more protein. So I hope you guys have uh, I've answered some questions, and also I, I hope you can take some supersets away. Um, you know, write them down, try them out. And again, if you guys want to hire me as your online personal trainer, I have a custom meal plan, custom workout plan, and a one-year VIP package, guys. So email me at at yahoo.com and please subscribe.